Turning to the forecast, of course, right now, Mike Collier and our team of meteorologists are tracking storms that are pounding parts of green country, I understand, right now. Hi, Mike. Hey, Sherry. Yeah, the storms continue to erupt across the area. Luckily, they haven't intensified too much uh, too quickly, and that's good right now. Storm right now northeast of Boynton, that continues to track to the north. You can see most of the storms right now in northern portions of Oklahoma. A few little storms popping up now in southern Eufaula or McIntosh County, just south of Eufaula. Storms right now in southeastern portions portions of Osage County one that race to the north of sky took and that continues to track pretty rapidly to the north right now as we pan the map up you can see this is highway 75 uh, near Ramona and Vera uh, let's check in with Denton Sachs who's been watching this storm as well Denton give us an update on what you're seeing as this storm continues to track northeast yeah, good afternoon, Mike. Uh, the storm is intensifying just a little bit, but it appears that it's fighting with another updraft that's in the vicinity, which is a good thing because that's keeping that storm severe limits at. All right, thank you very much. Rapidly to the northeast there. Mike? All right, thank you very much, Dent. Let's check in with meteorologist Brandon Woolley with an update on, from the storm truck as well as these storms continue to move to the north. Uh, Brandon, we're watching that storm. BA, where is your current location right now? Hi, Mike. We are traveling eastbound right now on the BA Expressway uh, about to near the Harvard Avenue exit at this point. Let me give you kind of a vantage point. I've switched to our roof camera and you can see those cumulonimbus clouds just off to our northeast right now, kind of ominous behind those trees right now. But that's the cell that we have just to the east of downtown Tulsa. Huge updrafts, rapidly developing storms out there for late this afternoon and early this evening. So it kind of gives you a sense on how tall those clouds are right now growing rapidly over the next couple of hours and we can use our 360 cam to pan around and really give you a good vantage point of those clouds again and the storms that we're seeing just to the east of downtown t-town at this point mike all right thank you brandon up for that update again these showers in the broken air area continue to track to the north northeast and that will take it into katusa about 518 vertigris at 526 claremore at 538 and uh, further northeast uh, with the next 30 minutes. Future track radar, this will take radar into the future, and you'll see that more storms will be possible in the metro region at 730 as a cool front begins to slide into the area. Should quickly move out, so by 10 o'clock tonight, things begin to quiet down. Still watching the main cool push of air make its way into northeast Oklahoma overnight, tonight, and tomorrow morning, and that will bring really cold weather. Think about this tomorrow. It's going to be cloudy. It's going to be dreary and it's going to be chilly with temperatures falling down into the 50s. Right now it's just warm. Tulsa 88, Jinx 89 degrees, Owasso 87 and Bixby 88. Then you factor in the heat index and it still feels like 94 in Tulsa. But if you were ahead out in far northwestern portions of Oklahoma, let me pan this map a little further uh, to the west. Out here in northwest Oklahoma, wind chills right now in the 30s. So really chilly air heading our way. There's a beautiful shot from our River Spirit Cam looking at the Cumulonimbus, those towering uh, clouds beginning to continue to develop. Uh, 80 degrees at 7 o'clock and then falling down lower 70s by late tonight with a continued chance for storms moving east of the area by 10 o'clock. Look at the cold air to the northwest of us. Denver, 34, Amarillo, 47. These are actual air temperatures. That cool air is pushing our way. So tomorrow morning, we're going to see cool temperatures in the 40s and 50s across the area by 5 o'clock. Tulsa is only going to be at 59 for our high. So jacket weather tomorrow. Trust me on that. Grab the jacket. Get it ready to go for tomorrow. It's going to feel cold with northwest winds coming in at 14 miles per hour. So we're going to see 40s and 50s overnight tonight, 59 tomorrow, 68 degrees on your Wednesday. Chance for a few storms comes in early Saturday. Temperatures in the mid 80s for highs and then a little cooler as we head towards early next week, Shara, as we track yet uh, temperatures uh, falling once again with another cool front. That shower and thunderstorm activity is mainly early Saturday morning. Uh, so we will see chances for rain at least dry during the daytime hours, early morning hours could be a little wet, but cool weather, chilly tomorrow, jacket weather. Yeah, I cannot believe 43 or in the 40s. Woo, yeah. But that'd be good. Good running weather. Indeed it is, yeah. All right, thank you, sir. You're welcome.